Hey guys, what's going on? So if you've watched some of my videos, you know that I made a video about a week ago on how to purge your hot water tank. Well, that video did really well, especially in my neighborhood uh, Facebook group. A lot of people didn't know how to purge it out, but a lot of people actually messaged me and want to know how to turn the heat up on their hot water heater. Well, it's fairly simple. Flathead screwdriver, Phillips head. So let's get to it. And also there will be a warning on your hot water heater. Water over 125 degrees Fahrenheit can cause severe burns instantly and death from scalds. Children disabled elderly are at higher risk of being scalded. So guys, make sure you perform this at your own risk. All right, guys. So the first thing that we're gonna do is wanna see what kind of hot water heater we have. Here we have an electric one. We don't have a disconnect up top, so we're gonna have to go to a breaker and turn it off. But we wanna see how many panels we have. We have two heating elements, one on the bottom, one on the top, and we're gonna to wanna to adjust those. But before we do that, we've gotta go ahead and turn the power off. We're gonna to come to our breaker, find the water heater, and turn it off. And then you're gonna to wanna to verify that the power is off. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove this cover. This is two Phillips head. Place the panel up there with the screws. Pull out the two pieces of foam. Your insulation might look a little bit different. You might have fiberglass in, depending on what kind of tank it is. Now, if you have a gas heater, you're gonna have a dial out by the pilot light to adjust the temperature. So there's one panel. Let's go ahead and do the bottom. Pull out the two pieces of foam. All right, guys. So with those panels removed and the foam or insulation out of the way, you're gonna see that you're gonna have a dial indicator down here. You're gonna have two wires coming down to the first element and you're gonna have a reset up top on the first one. The bottom one's gonna be the same as this bottom half. It's just gonna have an element and a dial. So if your hot water heater isn't working, you can always check this reset button. It's always a good thing to check, but generally we don't have issues with those. So remember, if you have children or pets, the optimal temperature is under 100 degrees for them. So make sure whenever you use hot water, um, when you adjust this, the hot water is gonna be hotter, obviously. So you're gonna have to compensate on your your uh, faucet dial. So let's go ahead and adjust this one. It looks like we're about 115 degrees. Factory's supposed to be 125. I don't know why it's that low. We're gonna go ahead and turn it to about 135 on that dial. You're gonna see 150, 125 is factory, and 90 over here. So we're gonna go just past the 125. And each dial is going to be a little bit different. If you have a propane unit, you're going to have it over by the pilot light. Next, we're going to come down here and adjust this one the same exact way. All right, with those two adjusted, we just got our Reinstall the foam, reinstall the panels, and turn the power back on. Let it heat up, and you'll notice the difference depending on how much you increase the temperature. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you all and enjoy. I almost forgot. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys.